Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Masawa here with rhinestoneworld.com. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the insane margins and the things you can do with your vinyl cutter and some of our signed vinyls. So we have a couple different uh, vector packs available on our website. The example we're gonna use here today is our TRW Ultimate Baseball Mom Vinyl Decal Pack. So this is a pack that has 36 different variations of baseball mom designs, awesome looking designs. All of these designs in the vinyl, you'll have a choice of a two color or a single color. And you'll have, uh, your prices will range anywhere from about eight to $12 as far as you retailing to your customers for these vinyl decals. Now, if you're just using, doing rhinestones, you're just doing the heat transfer vinyl for apparel right now with your business, you have a vinyl cutter, you have to take advantage of the signed vinyl and vinyl decals for windows. So you see them driving around everywhere. You see them on the back of cars, baseball mom of number 10, Johnny number six, uh, and the team name, everything else. Well, this baseball mom ultimate pack right here is, is insane. It's your, all of your parents, your customers are going to love it. They're going to have different options from right-handed to left-handed to different positions to one color to two color. And we're going to show you a couple samples exactly how to cut them, how to weed them, and how to apply them in this video. Just to give you an idea, again, the single color decals will sell around eight to $10. The two colors around 10 to $12, depending on the materials that we're using. For example, a, each of the designs are about six by six, so we're gonna use right around seven inches by seven inches of actual material. Uh, the intermediate sign vinyl that we sell on the website, your cost for a single color white decal, if you buy it by the roll, is 14 cents. So you have 14 cents of actual cost into that eight to $10 decal. So obviously you can see the type of margins you can get. Also with our special glitter, sign vinyl glitter sign vinyl seven by seven design 80 cents in cost if you're buying it by the roll so even with this 80 cents for that seven by seven design you're going to sell that for 12 dollars. so again ridiculous margins and awesome looking product that you can get to your customers obviously a two color design if you're using two colors like a white and an orange let's say for one of our two color um, actual files here 28 cents 28 cents in cost, two color design. You can bump it up probably around $2 for that two color design. So again, you have to take advantage of this if you have a vinyl cutter because you already have the customer base for it. So it's gonna be an easy sell to your current customer base. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to load the material into our GraphTech CE 6060 cutter here. It's 24 inch vinyl plotter. We're gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna show you the actual cutting process, the weeding process, and how easy we make the layering process for you as well with the two color design. So let's go ahead and get this loaded up into the vinyl cutter, show you how the process works. All right, so we're over here in our Graph Tech cutter. We're gonna go ahead and on this one, we're gonna do a single color design. So again, we're gonna have 14 cents worth of material on this actual cut that we're gonna do. And that's gonna be an eight to $10 decal. So we're gonna use one of our mom designs. Let's go ahead and load this up. With the CE6000, the Graph Tech cutter here, you can see we gotta get the def our pinch rollers onto our grid rollers there. So you're gonna have the different blue marks. So we're all good there. Let's go ahead and lock it down. We're gonna choose front edge. It's gonna go ahead and read our material for us. Bring it to the top. And now it looks like we are ready to cut. So we're gonna go ahead and send the information to the cutter right now. All right, so as you can see, we just sent it over to our graph tech here. It's gonna go ahead and cut out the design. It's actually doing the baseball laces right there. Now we have our settings here for the graph tech. We have a force of 10 and a speed of 40. So we didn't want it to go too quick. We want to get a nice precise cut on it. And that's a great thing about the graph tech cutter here is it it's very clean cut, very easy to weed. And you'll see that process here in just a minute. All right, so the cutter just finished up here. Let's go ahead and we can actually just unlock it and pull this out. Now we put a weed box around it, so that's gonna make it easier for us to weed here. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and weed this out here. 
very simple there. Now we got just the different, and the great thing is, is it's pretty easy to see the cut lines. I know it's gonna be hard in this video with the white backing, but you'll be able to see it a lot easier once we get to one of our other colors. But you can see as I'm weeding this out, and then you'll see the design perfectly once we get to the actual um, putting it on the black, um, the black material over here. We're actually gonna put it on an acrylic kind of board just to show as a pretty cool proof. But you can see how easy it's all weeding here for us. And we got the inside of these laces here that weeded perfect. The M for the mom and the last part of the laces there. And we are completely done with this. So now we're gonna app tape it right after we do the two color design, show you how easy that process is as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get our two color design loaded up here next and show you that process real quick. All right, so now we're gonna cut the two color design. So we have our silver glitter here that we're gonna go ahead and load up. Make sure it's on our pinch rollers perfect. Looks good there. We're gonna go number one, which is our front edge again. All right, we're all set to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and send this to our cutter. All right, so you can see our cut going here on the glitter vinyl. Again, we have our settings for the glitter vinyl the exact same as the intermediate. So we have a force of 11 and a speed of 40. Now this force is with a brand new blade and also with the graph tech. So it's all force is gonna change depending on the sharpness of your blade and then also which actual vinyl cutter you're using. All right, so it looks like the silver glitter is all done. Let's go ahead and grab our weeding tool and see how this weeds out for us. So I got my weed box around it there. Now you can see my two registration marks that we, automatic, that we already put into the file for you to make it easy. And I'll show you how that works once we get to the actual application tape. And then we have to make sure our 405 comes out nice here. This is a pretty cool looking design. I like this one. It's an outfielder um, actually snagging a home run. So it's a pretty awesome looking design. So you can see how easy that one weeded there. That's gonna be our background color there. So the glitter vinyl is a little bit hard to see in the image there, but you can see that. Now we're gonna load our red glitter and cut the second color of this design. So it doesn't have to be perfect here. We can actually just load it up just like this. And again, we're gonna hit one for the front edge. It's gonna read our material real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and send the design to our cutter as soon as it's ready. So we're gonna send it now. All right, so we can see our second color cutting here. Again, same, uh, same speed, same force as the first two cuts. So we're actually making two different decals here and two different samples from that Ultimate Baseball Mom vinyl pack that we have available on the website. So this is gonna be our two color design and then the other one is just a single color design. So these are gonna be some awesome looking vinyl decals that all of your customers, the moms, are gonna enjoy because they can customize it based on if their son is a right-hander, left-hander, and then also based on what position they play as well, but still have the baseball mom involved in it. All right, looks like the red glitter's done. Let's go ahead and unload this. And again, we have our weed box around it to make it easy. And we're gonna go ahead and start pulling this off. Oh yes, look at how easy this is weeding for us as well. Look at that, how easy was that? Now you're seeing again my weed box or my registration points there, and I'm gonna show you how those work here once we get to the uh, layering process. So just pulling out the insides of the B, the A, and hey, there we go, we're done with that part of the design. So now what we can do, I'm gonna bring them all over to um, our actual um, sheet that we're gonna apply these to to make it look like it's going on the back window of a car, show you how easy this process is. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim our design right here. So I'm just gonna trim around it real quick. And that'll save some of our extra material here. We already trimmed the other two, 
but just wanted to show you the trimming process here to show you obviously how to do it and weed out the extra so I can save this for a different design and we got this one ready to go so we got our application tape here let's go ahead and take now we have a 12 inch wide application tape here so not needed for a smaller design like this but it's nice application tape comes in 300 foot rolls so it is nice when you have you can do two designs at a time we're only doing a single design right here but um, when you get to that process you'll be able to do two so I got a squeegee here that I'm just gonna go over it real quick with make sure that that signed vinyl stays on to the application tape comes up off the carrier sheet so you can see as I'm pulling it off here it's going to come up with our application tape here. All right, so we got all of that off there. And I'm just going to actually trim around it here a little bit. And I'm going to apply it just to another sheet of black sign vinyl, just so you can see what it looks like when it would be on the window of a car. All right. So we're going to go ahead and apply it here. You can see how cool the design looks already. Drop it down on that. Go over it with our squeegee again. And then we're going to pull it off here. And check out how awesome that looks. So that's the back window of the car there. Again, about an $8 to $10 decal here. Awesome looking baseball mom design for a left-handed batter something that's customized for them and their child but great looking design so now we're going to go ahead and show you how to do the two color design all right so the second color or the two color design we're going to go ahead and do now now you can see our registration marks there we want to put the application on the top layer first and then we're going to layer it on top of the obviously the bottom layer so let's go ahead and get that ready all right so we'll grab our application tape here and let's cut off a decent amount here. Got to make sure it's as wide as the widest part of your design. So we're good to go there. Apply this down. And we got our squeegee here. Now all of the files that we have on the website already have for the two color designs. Already have the registration marks there to make it easy for you. So we try to make it as easy as possible for you guys when you're doing your designs. So let's trim around this a little bit. We can get that out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead and pull this off. Make sure that your registration squares come with it. So we're good to go there. Now what we're going to do is watch. I'm going to layer these two uh, squares directly on top of each other. So I got one there. And one here. And we're looking pretty good there. Now that I have the squares lined up, I can just drop my design down, and you got a perfect two color design. So we trim this up real quick here. And again, now that we got it, we have it completed, we don't need those registration squares anymore. So the customer doesn't want to put those squares on their actual car. But we're good to go now. So there's our finished product to give to our customer. Now we're going to go ahead and just apply it to one of these sheets of vinyl right here just to show you what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and squeegee over that. We're going to go ahead and get it off here. Drop it down to, now this obviously would be their back window of the car. Go over it with our squeegee. Let's pull the corner here. And there you go. And you got an awesome looking glitter. You can see the glitter there, the glitter vinyl of our FDC sign vinyl two color design so again we have 36 different versions of it in this baseball mom pack but you can see these two awesome designs here how cool they're going to look on the back of a car for your customers how much they're going to enjoy them 
All right, so that's our video on our Baseball Mom Ultimate Signed Vinyl Pack that we have available on the website. Again, back window of a car right here, two color glitter design, and then we have our single color intermediate signed vinyl. This one right here, 14 cents in actual vinyl cost, eight to $10 you're gonna sell this to your customer. This is our left-handed batter, so a bunch of different versions, one color and two color, all available on the website. This is our two color design. So right below this video, you'll see a link to purchase this entire package of the vector designs on the website. Cool thing is, is you can even use these for a shirt design as well, because it's an actual vector file. You can cut out your heat transfer vinyl to press onto shirts as well with these. So hope you enjoyed this video on creating a vinyl car decal or window decal. If you do have any questions on the process, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941. 755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com. You guys have a great day.